Hello, 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 guys. This is Tasha Talk Truth. When I do number speak the truth all day, every day. So let's get into it. Hello, everyone, everyone, everyone. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Hello, guys. This is Tasha. Tasha Talk Truth. When I do number speak the truth all day, every day. So let's get into it. Um, I want to first start by saying um, thank you to all of my subscribers that are still here with me. I cannot say thank you enough because. Even though I don't put out content um, like you guys want me to, um, <clears throat> I just thank y'all for still sticking with me, okay? Um, another thing is, I want to start off by saying, um, Tory Lanez have been found guilty. We all know this by now. And it is, um, it's, it's very sad, to be honest. It's sad. Um, I, I've always, you know, thought from day one that he caused her injuries. Um, did he do it on purpose was the question. I didn't think that he done it, that he, you know, popped her on purpose. But then again, after listening to everything that happened in the trial, especially with the defense witness, um, Kelly, when he said that they were all fighting they were, you know, they they attacked Meg. Um, you know, he thought that they were going to murk her. Um, you know, it, it kind of. If you do, you guys remember when Megan said that night that that uh, someone tried to really hurt her, and she was terrified. When I think about that, and I think about what Kelly said. You know, all of these people jumping on her. There was another comment that Kelsey had made uh, when she was talking to the DA that when her and when her and Tori was approaching her, that Megan looked like she saw like uh, like her her eyes were were so big. And in my mind, I'm thinking maybe she thought that they were going to murk her after the beating, okay? Now, um, I just wanted to say that because, you know, I always felt like he done it, but I don't think he did intentionally, okay? Um, because of the bullet fragments. Um, if he was actually trying to hurt her, you know, I'm quite sure he could have connected a full bullet, you know, into her, you know, into her feet, her legs, or something like that. Um, but I don't think that he intentionally tried to hurt her. Um, so, with that being said, um, I, I, I feel sorry for Tori. I do. I got the kind of heart, like, I, I just, even though he caused this lady, you know, agony and pain, um, you know, sending <clears throat> sending misinformed information to bloggers like Milagros. Um, I did a video, um, sh and I've been <laughs> like holding on to that video because it was very interesting how she was blaming other people and how she snapped on Megan when she know damn well that somebody from Tory Case. Uh, Tory Teen sent her those photos and gave her that BS story that they were being robbed, okay? And I believe that is the story that Tory was trying to get, you know, uh, Meg to tell, you know, this story, okay? But anyway, um, when it comes to the evidence and things that were shown, my thought on the verdict was either going to be guilty or, or hung. I never thought that he was going to get acquittal. I never thought that because of, you know, some of the things that were said matched up with some, like one witness statement, some of her, that her Kelsey statement at, matched up with Megan's statement. Um, you know, so you have these bits, <clears throat> bits and pieces of information that added up to what another person said, okay? Um, when you use common sense, you can see clear as day that, and I gotta say allegedly, that Kelsey was 
either pay off. You got to think, y'all, think about this. These juries heard bribery, payment, Kelsey giving a statement to the, the DA, which was a complete statement, uh, uh, the same statement like Megan gave. Um, you hear um, Kelsey even, Megan said he offered her a million dollars. Kelsey said he offered her a million dollars. Come on now. These juries are paying attention to what they are saying. Then you got Kelsey changing her story on the witness stand that totally made no sense. Why? Why would you uh, indirectly say that you done it? Because that's what she was doing. You know, saying all three of us was arguing. You know, the way she was putting herself, you know, in the equ equation, you know, like she done this without saying I done it. Okay? And people keep saying, oh, she got up there and, you know, she told the story. She asked for immunity. And who does that? Only guilty people. No, that's not true. Oh, at all. my God. When we walked out of that courtroom just now, every single person was shocked. Every single person was frozen. A lot of people were looking at me like, bro, tell me what is going on. Kelsey took the stand before she even started talking. There were fireworks. This started with Kelsey coming in and saying she is invoking her Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not testify. When someone invokes the Fifth Amendment, they have to be invoking it because if they were to testify, they would be giving testimony that incriminates themselves. She said, I will not testify because I would be giving testimony that I'm incriminating myself. That's what it means when she invoked the Fifth Amendment. Now you know what I mean? I think, I think you did a great service for the Young Boy trial. And, and um, now with this case, which we've been so fascinated about, it's ridiculous. First of all, I, I just want to I, I want to just kind of throw it to you that you could kind of update me on what went on today. Because I, I predicted yesterday, I'm like, hey, listen, why is Kelsey taking the stand today knowing that Tori's whole defense is kind of angling saying she did the shooting? How does she know that? Maybe the whole jury or maybe everybody in the world believes she did it. And now you're susceptible to charges. And now we hear about an immunity deal. Please break it down for me. There's a crazy day. Day starts. Kelsey says, I'm not going to testify. When Kelsey says, I'm not going to testify, the prosecutor responds by saying, I will give you use immunity, which means that if you agree to testify, no, I will not use no. any of your testimony against you. Now, the reason why Kelsey can say that I won't testify, she has the right to invoke the Fifth Amendment. You can only invoke the Fifth Amendment. You can't just say I invoke the Fifth because I don't want to talk to police. No, you can only invoke the Fifth if you are being compelled to testify. In this case, she's being forced to testify. And the testimony that she's going to give is self-incriminating. So the second she walks into court and says that I invoke the Fifth, I can't testify, that tells you that she did something that night that would incriminate herself. <laughs> Separately, she invoked the fifth specifically in reference to the question, what was the con context of the comment Tori made that I'll shoot? Now, it seemed that she denied that that comment was also made, but more importantly, it seemed that she was saying that I invoked the fifth. I can't tell you what happened around the timing of that because I would incriminate myself. That is a big win for the defense, but this is not just a a molly wop victory for the defense there's a lot going on here so okay they invoke the fifth she gets the immunity she's now testifying and she runs back all of these statements that she's made to prosecutors and she says oh hey you said tori popped out had the gun up and was shooting at y'all no that was a lie oh you said tori reached into the gun to get the console no that was a lie so she admits that all that stuff is a lie okay then we get to the prosecutor prosecutor stuff and this these are major feathers in the cap of the prosecutor and that is two pieces of evidence one the concept that there was money being offered now what was it being offered for I, that's there's a lot of room to play there first off the biggest thing here is that kelsey denies that she took any money so i didn't take any money 
I'm not testifying here because I've been paid to testify. I'm not being silenced. I've been paid to testify. That goes a long way. She does, however, acknowledge that offers may have been made. So the prosecutor's whole point is that she's doing all this shit because she's getting paid. Kelsey's whole point is that I deny. So question back to Kelsey. Why are you not talking? What's going on here? What is it that you're afraid of saying? <laughs> we, we don't get that answer. She just keeps saying to protect myself. I, I, so as I was kind of seeing this go down, um, I, I said to myself, I'm wondering, and, and by the way, now I'm going, I'm, in, I'm in, in the realms of just theories because at oh, the end we're of the day, all in the deep end, bro. We are like deep, like this is like deep at this point. I'm wondering if Tory's attorney or Tory's defense, like his whole team had any idea this was going to happen. Because in my opinion, if she did what she was supposed to do, she was supposed to put Tory in a position where I speculated Tory has to take the stand. I think after this, I'm like, don't take the stand because you haven't even got to cross yet. And she's basically fucked up everything the prosecutor got going on on direct. This is a, this is a, amazing. She's working for the, she's working for the defense. Now that's your your read on that is very right, but it can go. It's not true at all. I believe Kelsey told the real story to the DA, but. I believe that Tory and her, his, her, his team, they got together. They told, "Look, this is what all you gotta do. You know, ask for immunity, and they'll give it to you. And then you can go ahead and botch, you know, uh, your story. You know, throw the story. And absolutely, I believe that this was a plan. I always have been a plan." Okay, because that's why Kelsey never spoke. Because she was trying to protect Tori. Come on, y'all. That's clear as day. It's clear as day. Kelsey, Tori, everything was on the line. Everything was on the line. His career, he could go to jail for all these years. He'll be deported back to Canada. And if he's begging and pleading with Kelsey, you know, Kelsey, they can't, you know, if you have a immunity, you know, they can't, if you ask for that, they can't, um, you know, they can't charge you with anything. And then when you understand, implicate yourself, make it seem like you could have done this because they can't touch you. And then I can get out. Scott free <clears throat> biggest day you can see that and I don't understand why it's so hard for people to not see that all they are stuck on is why would she ask for immune <clears throat> listen the prosecutors was never going to prosecute Kelsey at all they weren't going to prosecute her. They knew who did this. They knew who done it. They were never going to go after Kelsey. That's why the prosecutor said, we're not going to, you know, before she even asked, after she asked for the deal, the prosecutor was like, we're not going to prosecute her. They had no intentions on prosecuting her at all. But that's the way Kel Kelsey purposely was raising doubt for Tory. I've never seen or heard a witness like that. How even on TV, even in real court, how many guilty or not guilty people have sat on the stand and implicated themselves, said things that that pointed to them that they could have did this. I don't you you have immunity, so you can't get locked up. So why are you still pleading the fifth? And why are you st still saying things? I don't want to implicate myself. Think. Y'all got to think. Don't None of that makes sense. Even when she said, I want to take the fourth. That was set up. That was set up so she can pretend like she don't know what's going on. She was setting the stage up to act like she was dumb. Kelsey is very smart. 
Very smart. She hangs around thugs. 1501. You know, she's not stupid. She knows the proper language for saying, I want to plead the fifth. And she going to say fourth to make it sound like she was dumb. Only a fool would believe that she didn't know how to pronounce that. That's crazy. That's crazy, but it just goes to show, you know, like I've, I've always said, some of our people do not have common sense. There was a lot of things there that just didn't add up in the defense for Tory. Tory team is saying Kelsey shot Megan. Tell me right now why haven't anyone, any of Kelsey people, any of Kelsey friends, her boyfriend, 1501, why haven't anyone come out and went after Tory for saying that Kelsey shot her? Crickets, silence, because it was a setup. It was a plan. Now, didn't she get upset because Megan didn't defend her? She got upset, and, and that's what caused them to fall out. So, you telling me that the whole world saw Tory Team point at Kelsey? Kelsey did this, and you telling me that? Nobody from Kelsey's side is on the internet defending her. Nobody's mad. She's not up on the internet saying, I don't know why Tory team will say this about me. Come on, use your brains. That's common sense. Nobody. Uh, Carl Crawford, he gave a statement, a little statement. He didn't say nothing. About Tory uh, accusing uh, Kelsey of shooting Meg. He didn't say a word. He's just shaking his head. Feeling sorry for Tory. At this point, shouldn't they be feeling sorry for Kelsey? For being lied on? So I just wanted to point that out. You can, t them jury people, they're not stupid. What does Rock Nation have to do with, with 12 people that don't even know each other? They don't even know each other. What did they have to, what did Jay-Z have to do with that? Blame everybody but the person who actually done it. Another thing that Tory messed up on when he did not take the stand. He should have took the stand at that point and jury look at that. They wonder, they, they, they always wonder in certain cases, why didn't the, why don't the defendant take the stand? You have Kelsey, you have Megan, both of them took the stand. Tory did not take the stand. That hurt him. They looked at that like, why, why, I mean, and then the bodyguard, where is his bodyguard? This is the man that protects him. Why didn't he take the stand? Why did he come so late? Why didn't he take the stand? An eyewitness, your bodyguard, your protection. Why didn't he take the stand? You don't think the jury look at that? Look at Tory. Why didn't you take the stand? And clear your name? Because you're hiding something. That's what the jury was looking at. Everybody else is looking at, oh, the, 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 the DNA and the muscle. His, his DNA was inconclusive on the gun. It didn't say it wasn't on there. It just said we, we can't tell. He had gun residue on him. So did Kelsey. And that could have been from the beating that he was giving her. Or or 
let's say that um, Kelsey did shoot. He said the, the Kelly said uh, the, the, uh, the defendant witness said Kelsey. He saw a girl walk back to the car. Now I now he she she walks back to the car, and then he saw a, a, a flash come from the girl, and then Tori gets out. Then he see the little man running around shooting about four or five times. So you telling me that because of the first flash came for Kelsey? Let's say that was true. You telling me they gave doubt, reasonable doubt that Tory didn't do it when the witness said Tory let off about four or five rounds, and he was mad and he was angry. He let off four or five rounds. Kelsey let off one. That doesn't, I mean, it still puts the gun in his hands. Period. And how the prosecution pointed out that if Kelsey shot in the car, if she shot in the truck, come on. Where would the bullets be? Come on. Come on. And I just wanted to put this out. I feel sorry for Tori. He have kids. You know, I, I just hope he don't get all that time. That's a long time for that young man. And, and because I don't think that he purposely hurt her. That he did it on purpose. He just got out the car like a maniac. And just start shooting. I hope. You know. That he don't get that much time. What I will say. I will. It would be nice. If. Megan. You know how the witness come in. I mean the. Um, the. Um, with the witness. Comes in and give a witness statement. On, on sentences day and it would be nice if she would tell the judge to be lenient even though she didn't file charges uh, the state did she, it, it, it would be nice if she could say something like that you know be lenient on him you know 22 years that's a lot that's a lot he got Three charges. That's a, that's a lot, but that's what they. That's the time that they offer up there in California. Okay. Um, it's so funny how I now see um, the bloggers that was out there rooting for Tory. How they're backtracking. It wasn't me. See, I don't care. I, I, I ain't the one that was on trial. How now they're backtracking. How uh, DJ Academics only used Mob Radio to get coverage. Remember, he was happy. He was, y'all, go to her page. She's the, she's the, this, 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 uh, this uh, uh. she even called that out. She's like, where's the 10 celebrities that was on my page? Well, you were used, honey. I mean, I could see it clear as day what DJ Academics was doing. But. You know, at least she did get on this page. You know, it was 36,000 people there. You know, all you want is fame. You know, you clout. You do all this anyway. This is what you want. So, you, you're getting what you want. You know? But uh, I just want to put that out. Out there. How I felt. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, he... He committed this crime. He committed this crime. Do I think Kelsey need to be charged with perjury? Yes. To teach her a lesson. But I don't think she need to go to jail. Because she has a baby. Tori has a son too. Um, But you know her and Ke uh, Tori's situation was different. I hate that he would be away from his child. I hate that he will be away from his mother. 
you know, but some things, you know, it, it when you do things, you, you, you pay the consequences. I pay the consequences for some things. Um, I have a child right now that is, you know, is in a, a situation. Um, so I, I get it. I, I, I understand. You know, um, Justin's from Meg. She got it. You know, um, it's just it's, it's it was terrible the way the media how one lady has a powerful voice and has a big inf influence um, needs to start using that for good, you know, instead of evil. Because she's the reason why this whole case got turned upside down. The whole reason. Her and her antics, her hate for Megan because Megan collabed with Cardi B. Um, you know, the fact that she does anything necessary to for any piece of clout. And in her mind, I truly believe that Millie thinks that Tori was innocent. Um, was innocent. But I think later on, because she's not that dumb. She knew. She knew. So, um, I'm going to say some prayers for her too. I pray for her. You know, I pray for us all. All of us. Us as African men, we got to get this shit together. My God. Even myself. I ain't perfect. I got shit going on. You know. It's just really sad to see. And I definitely believe um, Safari made a statement and said the internet has made African American people just kind of effed up. And I believe it. I believe it. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Um, Tori was charged on, found guilty on all three charges. Um, I, I believe if he had talked to Meg and, you know, and I think if they had all really, after this happened, talked, had a conversation or something, things probably wouldn't have went this way. But Tori was sending information to blogs um, to try to jump in front of the situation. And, and, and I don't understand, you know? I don't understand. And that's exactly what happened. He was sending information to blogs. Nobody knew about the the uh the um Kylie situation. Tasha K knew about that. Somebody sent that information to her. Um Bob Radio got a hell of a story that was sent to her and she ran that story 45 minutes at, uh before um 45 minutes after she had said a whole another completely story and 45 minutes she got her ass back up there and alluded to Megan having a party at her house Megan uh, you know, was getting robbed and um, Tori was trying to shoot the robber and accidentally shot Megan in her feet that is the final story first the first the one before that <laughs> was supposed to be the final story until somebody who had to be watching you sent her that information the all the pictures that was you know from her house the nails the 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 the, the wop video all of that and that's the story that she put out that was so misinformed but it was one thing that was right about that story was where the location was and that is what made Megan hot. 
and came forward and, you know, snapped. Toy, you did, you did this. While you sitting up there trying to send stories to bloggers that I was robbed, that we was getting robbed. No, you did this. And then Millie completely snatched on her. Because at this point, she knew her video was the cause of this. So now she was just trying to blame everything on Meg, go after Meg, and, and, and trying to save Tori. She said, even said that uh, Megan shot herself. Woo! Honey, your lawsuit, girl. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let that go. I will talk to y'all later, and I hope everybody have a merry, merry Christmas. Bye-bye.